Even though I have this disease, it does not define who I am. Talk about your father, you know, if you don't, if that's fine with you. It, it'll be all right. It's been six years. I'll be okay. fine. Okay. Muscular dystrophy is where the muscles in your body deteriorate over time. I figured out that I had muscular dystrophy after my father had died from complications with it. And at first I had called my friends. I was like really sad, really depressed. I was a bit fortunate that it's showed a bit later and I've caught it so early. Really, we were trying to figure out, you know, if I had it, if my brother had it, my brother, we haven't really tested that much yet, but me, after a couple months, they figured out that I do have the genome and it was active. I am coping with it in my own special way. I try not to like work out too hard. I still try to keep myself sort of active, like by walking around, which sadly involves playing Pokemon Go. I cope with it by just relaxing a lot. It, I've learned how to cope with it because I've told my friends and they know. They understand that sometimes I may have problems and sometimes I need to rest. Asperger's autism is where somebody has the social disorder of autism, but instead of like being like repressed or having some mental issues, they understand everything perfectly clear. Some people like think that it's, you know, they're just awkward or such, but it may be autism. I figured out I also had Asperger's around the same time I figured out I had muscular dystrophy. It's affected me slightly. It, it's affected me in ways like I have a hard time talking to new people or meeting new people. They do multiple tests until I figured out, you know, he most likely has Asperger's autism. I've learned to cope with it at least. It's like, you know, trying to be more open, more honest, stuff like that. <laughs> 